a black couple in Crystal Springs, Mississippi, has says that a predominantly white Baptist church refused to let them get married because of their race. Charles and Tay Andrea Wilson told local television there that the day before they were to be married, the pastor of the First Baptist Church of Crystal Springs informed them that the ceremony would have to be moved because of the reaction of some white church members. Even though these people had attended this church regularly, they were members of the congregation. So the guy basically said that the church congregation has decided no blacks could be married at that church, and if the pastor went on to marry her, then they would vote him out of the church. It's probably what Jesus would want. Right? I mean, what were the things that Jesus taught about, like, easier to get into heaven uh, than, a, for, than for a rich man? A rich guy getting in heaven is easier than, a, what is it, a camel through an eye of a needle? And uh, black people should not be married in white people's churches. I think those were the two, those were the two big ones, I think. I remember. I don't, I'm not... I have to say that I never received any Christian education, so I'm not 100% sure. Interesting that Jesus was self-hating. Well, you're just, you're, you know, he was tan. I don't know if you've seen the pictures of him doing this. He looks white to me. The photographs, the, the live there photographs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dr. Stan Weatherford, the church's pastor, was forced to perform the marriage at another church after he was taken by surprise at his congregation's outrage. This had never been done before here, so it was setting a new precedent. This horrible precedent of two black people being married, or... I didn't want to have a controversy within the church, and I didn't want the controversy to affect the wedding of Charles and Tay Andrea. I wanted to make sure their wedding day was a special day. Yeah, now you know what you should do? Resign. Do you re- are you really going to go up and preach to a church congregation that thinks it's controversial that black people should marry? I mean, what would happen if there was a black person and a white person? Oh, my God. Yeah, shouldn't these people be happy that it was two black people? There wasn't some sort of crazy interracial thing going mm. on? Can't have that happen. Mm. Last year, a small church in Pike County, Kentucky, voted to ban interracial couples from most church activities to provide greater unity among the church body. I mean, I could see banning, not performing marriages between two religions. Okay? I don't necessarily agree with that, but I get it. For whatever reason, you want to maintain, you know, the sacraments of one church don't necessarily apply to someone who is a member of another church. You know, if I marry uh, you as, uh, you know, and we had rabbis who wouldn't marry Nikki and I because they're like, well, nothing that I'm saying has any meaning to your wife because she's not from this religious creed. Uh, I mean, I get that. I don't know if I fully buy it, but I get it. But if you've got members of your church and it's just the race, just their color, I, I would, sh- I would, I, it would make me wonder why am I going to a church? Does Jesus really, really support this? Is it any less meaningful to a black person who attends a Baptist church? What the Baptists do to marry, is it any less meaningful because they're black? I don't get it. Jesus really hated change. Jesus, this is the one thing about Jesus that people didn't know. He was always very uptight about change. Yeah. When he, when, yeah. He, when he died and had to open the gates of heaven, you know, he was like, oh, come on, Dad, do I have to? It's never been done before. It's, it was very awkward. And then Jesus found out there were black people. Apparently, uh, black people were invented, um, you know, sometime like in, like about five, ten years after he died the first time or the second time. I'm not sure. Very awkward. (laughs) 